A well-designed Notion page is both useful and a pleasure to use. If you follow a few core principles, you can design pages that together form powerful Notion workspaces. So the first of those principles is to stay inspired. As you implement these principles, you want to reference other pages that utilize them effectively. So on Notion VIP, you'll find a post that accompanies this video, and that post will be linked within the description of this video on YouTube. And it includes a few strong examples. So one of those examples is a home page for a hypothetical agency. And then another is a personalized home page for an employee of that agency. And then you have two proposals. One is for a prospective client called Bittermilk. And then the other is for the app Pocket Casts. And then there's a special project that includes all NBA teams and players within Notion databases. The second principle is to identify the page's objective. By articulating the page's purpose, you'll inform the content that you need to include and the content that you can exclude, as well as the way the content is presented. So for example, some pages may need to convey a project's progress as simply and quickly as possible, while other pages might need to deliver a particular message and sentiment. The next principle is to create visual hierarchy. By varying size, color, position, and block types, you'll create a hierarchy of importance and a natural path for the viewer's eye. And so this visual hierarchy will enhance the aesthetic of the page and it'll also make the content most comprehensible for the reader. So headings one, two, and three are the most common approach to creating this hierarchy, but you can also draw attention to text with call out and quote blocks. In the pocket cast proposal, you'll see a quote block used for the opening statement, which brings visual emphasis to this piece of content. And then for text of lesser importance, you can use gray coloring and you can even roll the content into a toggle block. In the MBA project, you'll see a call out used to instruct visitors to choose database views. And this call out is colored gray in order to reduce its visual prominence. Next is minimizing content. So you want to minimize the volume of your content in order to maximize its impact and create aesthetic minimalism. Stay focused on that objective that you defined and include only information that supports it. Part of what makes Notion so powerful is its linked hierarchical pages. So when you can, break your content into multiple pages and link them using a intuitive wiki-like navigation structure. You can also use toggles to hide content until the viewer actively expands it. This will retain minimalism without eliminating essential content. In that hypothetical agency home base, you'll see that the resources are rolled into toggle blocks. And then similarly, within the employee home page, you can see that assigned tasks are rolled into a toggle block as well because they're referenced less frequently. Also be sure to avoid redundancy. So rather than creating two linked databases for the same database, instead create just one linked database and use multiple views for that linked database. Under the My Areas section of that employee home page, you'll see that there's a linked database that includes client and internal views. And then you'll wanna diversify the types of blocks that you use as much as you can. Block variation will enrich the aesthetic of your page and it will also keep visitors engaged. Utilize Notion's full spectrum of blocks, including callouts, quotes, and toggles to the extent that your content allows. One trick is to use callout blocks for high priority links. You can arrange them into columns and choose an icon for each one. Next is spacing and dividing your content. So segmenting your content into sections will make it more visually satisfying and easier to comprehend. Using headings, dividers, full width images, and plenty of spacing, you can create strong separations between the sections of your page. Negative space is a core tenet of good design, so use it liberally and creatively without any hesitation. In the Bittermilk proposal, you can see that a blank column is used to sort of artificially align a subtle note above a table. And then use columns when you can and only enable full width on the page when you must. Like diversifying blocks, columns can vary the structure of your page to boost aesthetic appeal as well as viewer engagement. Consider using columns for narrow content types like tables of contents, small photos, and simple lists. In the MBA project, you can see a nice example of two 
databases in the list format aligned as columns. You can even place a section's heading in an adjacent column rather than above the content. But you want to be sure to avoid columns when they're going to abbreviate the content and create ellipses. And while the default page margins offer some of that nice negative space that we're targeting, sometimes the full width page setting is necessary for wider content, like databases with a high volume of properties. You also want to use icons as much as you can, and you're going to want to use them consistently. Icons make a nice addition to the top of a page, but they're especially pleasing in references to the page, like in link to page blocks, databases, and in your sidebar. And that's especially true for databases. When all items in a database include an icon, it creates a really nice look for the database. And you can see that in the MBA project where each team's logo serves as the team's icon. And when choosing your icons, try to utilize a single library for consistency. And consider a library with a minimalist monochromatic look like those available at notion.vip slash icons, where you can simply copy the icons URL and paste it directly into Notion. And then use colors with intention. Without a deliberate approach, colors can make your page a little bit tacky. So pick just a few for your color palette and then add them only to support your visual hierarchy. In the Bittermilk proposal, you can see that only red is used, and it's used in the table of contents, in hyperlinks, and in emphasized words. And finally, be sure to optimize your pages for all screen sizes. Any functional website is going to respond to all screens, and that's no different for Notion pages. So as you design your pages, keep mobile viewers in mind, particularly in the way that columns collapse. 